Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Arkham Horror, Mothers in Praise. So in the last episode we selected our character from the character selection, and I decided to go with Zoe Samaras, who is a very devoted Christian cook, and when we were delivering uh, some meat for Professor Tillingas, we entered her mansion only to find her dead, and we also ran into this, was he a private investigator or, or, or one of the FBI? Well anyway, so she... Well, there she is talking. So uh, she was murdered in her own home by some crazy ass cultists. And now we are here at the Miskatonic University uh, about to go and talk to uh, some of the professor's colleagues, I suppose, to try and learn more about her and why she was potentially murdered. So yeah, without further ado, let's continue with the rest of the game here and let's look around. Let me think for a second. Well, yeah, you can think all, you can think all, all you want. A trophy shelf. A shelf full of trophies, all inscribed for, uh, for the Miskatonic Astronomy Club. You wonder what sort of astronomy event results in a trophy? That's a very good question, actually. Very good question. Still trying to get the hang of the controls. We could go up, I guess. Map. The bulletin board includes a map of the first floor of the science and astronomy building, complete with a big red you are here arrow. Can I talk to these people? I... I guess not. What do we have here? A file. A Manila, Manila file folder. Looking inside, you spot what might be something mm -hmm. useful. You have found a new item. Epinephrine. I don't know what that. I don't. I don't know what that is. But that's a syringe. Uh, epinephrine. A shot. A shot of epinephrine. A real jolt to the system. Revive at fifty percent health. Okay. So if we. So if our characters. If one of our characters, quote unquote, dies or just uh, falls unconscious, we can revive them by using this. I take it. Um, let's. Let's give it to you. Let's uh, let's give it give it to what was your name again? What was the investigator's name? Dude, what was what was your name? Well, anyway, I'm gonna give it to him because he's gonna be in the back line most of the time because he ha he has a gun, and we as the as the butchering chef go, go to the front lines with a kitchen knife or whatever we have. I want to f I want to find a cleaver. A notebook. A note left on a bench a student sits on catches your eye. It reads, I can't stop thinking about that queer old book with, with its strange writing. Even holding it in my hand seemed to drain my strength, as if it were some sort of vampire sucking away my energy. When Professor Tillingas caught me with it, she confiscated it at once. I haven't seen it since. Yeah, totally not the Necronomicon that he was reading. Here's Tillingas' office on the left, mm -hmm. Withers to the right. They must have known each other pretty well. Yeah, most likely. Professor Tillinger's door is locked. Of course it is. But of course, my friend. Academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. Some have even been known to steal a colleague's research and present it as their own. We'd better ask Withers for the key. All right. Hmm. So let's go to the let's go to Withers uh, straight away. I see no Agatha. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have. Oh, they're talking about me. Yes, apparently. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, may call me Professor Tillingust. All right, Professor Tillingust. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? Pardon the intrusion, Professor Withers. We're investigating Professor Tillingust's death, and we... Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh. These constant intrusions by reporters and police and garden variety busybodies. As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Listen, pal. Wait just a moment, Norman. 
Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Professor Agatha Crane, and you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillinghast. Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense. No, Professor Withers, she's right. We've seen unusual things. We arrived too late to save Professor Tillinghast, but we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural, to say the least. We intend to get to the bottom of it. Well, I don't, I, I, I don't know. She was, she was killed by a cultist who stabbed her. That's, there's really nothing unnatural about that, really. We didn't really see anything unnatural, did we? Well, we saw a pentagram or some sort of a ritualistic symbol on the floor, but that's it. I told you, Norman. That box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. Jujaws? What the hell is that? What? Where are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? To the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. Oh, she joins our party. Akata Crane, new investigator. Alright, what do you have? Um, on alert, Akata increases the group member's initiative in combat. Sounds handy. Uh, willpower, social, initiative strong, melee average. Everything else is average, really. Hmm. Professor Akata Crane made her reputation in mathematics and psychology, two fields I would have never expected someone to combine. Surprising us even more, she turned as uh, she turned those studies to the outer fields of parapsychology and the uh, and the occult. Uh, some of the some of the others might smile at her behind behind their hands, but I find her stories and speculations highly entertaining, even if they are more than a bunch of uh, balderdash. Okay. Okay, there's a story so far if you want to pause and read. Does it continue any further? Yes, okay. Dear Norman can be suspicious and co uncooperative. I like to think he's grieving my loss in his own grumpy way. Fortunately, Akata Crane remains young at, young at heart, as eager to help as when she first came to teach at Miskatonic. If anyone can uh, bring Norman around to helping you, it's Agatha. Enemies, strange men, strange people that came into my house and killed me. I would even say sacrificed me. How horrible! How horrible indeed! All right. So you don't mind if we take. You don't mind if you look around, do you? Oh, and also, our FBI investigator is fully healed. So good thing that I didn't use those bandages after our last combat encounter. So do you mind if we talk? Professor Withers. Professor Norman Withers stands before you, uh, puffing his cheeks impatiently. I know you wish to search the observatory, but for the life of me I can't imagine what you expect to find there. Okay. How about... Hmm, some drawers. Well, why do you have bullets in here, Professor? The file cabinet is open. Inside you find something interesting. Bullets. Yeah. Hmm. Did you auto did you automatic automatically take them? And um, what do we have here? Promo caffeine. Stronger than ten cups of coffee. This promo caffeine will get you moving faster. Okay, and she also got some bandages. Oh I can see the bullets here. Nine. And you got five in your revolver, I take it. Uh isn't that isn't that a simple cold revol revolver? It should it should have six. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not expert on guns. And what's this? A telescope. Okay. A small telescope pointed out. Pointed out a window. Peering through it, you must look away from the bright light of the sun. No doubt the view is better at night. Okay. Nothing else interesting here. Let's leave and. Oh. <laughs> Still have to get used to the controls. Let's leave. Professor Withers here to mourn. A door. This goes back to back to administration. We already have the information we need. 
A what door? That's it's a bookshelf. Yeah, it's it's a bookshelf. Or maybe there's a hidden door. Okay, um now where to? Okay, up here. Ah, the old observatory. Don't be fooled by its antiquated fixtures, my friends. All right, I won't. Of course, the new Gerald Warren Astronomical Observatory is a technological marvel. But I shall always remember this one more fondly. Through these telescopes, I first gazed with wonder at the stars and the vast voids between them. Okay. Now, what do we... What can we find here? Can we look through the telescope? Once the pride of the Miskatonic University Astronomy Department, this outdated telescope hasn't seen much use in recent years. Anything on the table here? Desk. So much clutter fills this desk that, that it might take a while to find a needle in this proverbial, proverbial haystack. You decide to open the small top drawer. You should be so you should be so lucky. You have found a new item. Book of Restrain. An electric uh, phrase that binds the target's limbs slow in movement. Okay. Um. Hmm? Could it be? Yes, I these pick it up? glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. This, my friends, is a grimoire, a book of spells. What it is doing at the university, I cannot say. But we mustn't let this opportunity go to waste. We must see whether these spells work. Uh, okay, you sound very enthusiastic about this. But did I pick it up? I wanted to, I wanted to try and see if I could, uh, if, if, uh, if I could check uh, each character's stats again, so I could decide that who should, who should I give the book to. A step closer to the Lord's will complete. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh wait, no, they... Tap. No, mythos, but... Where could I see them? Investigators, here. Um, magic is weak with her. Magic is weak with him as well, so... Agatha would be the best person to give the book to. Alright. You take that. Okay. There was something else here as well. Hmm. More bookshelves. A bookcase in, in need of tidying. You have found a new item. Pipe wrench. Okay, well that might actually be better than our knife. What does this do? Three to five? Oh wait, no, that's the punch. Knife. Eight to nine damage, and this does seven to nine, so not that much better. Critical hit 30%, holy shit. Critical hit 5%. 20% to stun target, that sounds very handy as well. Not something that the knife can do. Well, might as well give it to her. She's, she's our melee character here. Alright. I'll ha I'll hang on to this. I didn't give it to you, did I? Oh wait, is it here? Oh, where can I where can I see your inventory? Was it hi? Yeah, yeah. I I did I did give it to Zoe. It, it was Zoe, right? Zoe Samara. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I did not. <laughs> I did not I misremember her name. Anyway, what was in here? After locating the locker lab labeled Professor Withers, you find it locked tight. We could try to lockpick, force lock, or break the door. No advice uh, from any of any of the investigators. I mean, do we really want to see what's inside Withers's locker? Break the door, force lock. I mean, breaking the door 
sounds a bit overkill to me. Lockpick. No, oh, it worked. After applying a little elbow grease and opening the locker, you find a box inside. Written in neat letters on a label is the name Professor Tillingast. Why, why do you have something that belongs to Professor Tillingast? What is that? Here is the mysterious box. The label marks it as belonging to Professor Tillingast. What are these strange things inside? This symbol. It was in Professor Tillingast's room. Which symbol? You've seen this symbol in Wilhelmina's room, haven't you? It is similar to the iconography of ancient pagan rituals. Here is proof that Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. Many of our colleagues questioned Agatha's unorthodox avenues of research, but none questioned her resolve. Once she sets her mind to a girl, nothing can stop her. We must show this to Norman. Only then will he help us. All right, if you say so. Uh, but then again, uh, didn't we just break into or lockpick his locker? Meaning that, meaning that he would know that that what was inside it. More evidence to lock. All right, let's go and talk to Professor Withers again. There he is. Look here, Norman. See the odd things in this box of Wilhelmina's? Whatever she was researching, it was far more than that comet. I don't see what this has to do with her death. We saw a sign identical to the one on this box in the room where Professor Tillingus was killed. I must admit that seems far too unlikely to be mere coincidence. Very well. You have my attention and my help. Why, thank you. Wilhelmina left Arkham earlier this year, and I received this box. After hearing no word from her, I became concerned, and I, I confess, I briefly searched her office for some indication of the purpose of her travel. I, are you not questioning how we got the box? Well, it, what, well, it's actually a good thing that that he's not that he's not asking us how we how we got it. But yeah, I was just wondering. I, I would ask that if I was him. Oh, Norman, you dear fool. I was only gone a week. Why did you worry so? Unfortunately, I couldn't make sense of her notes. They made no sense to me. I did sense a whiff of the occult about them, which I admit made me uneasy. The Lord intends us to help each other as we help ourselves. Together, we can learn what happened to Professor Tillingist. You're right, of course. Here, yeah, take the key to Wilhelmina's office. While you have a look in there, I'll pour over these notes again. What was that sound? Hmm? It came from next door. Next door? That's Tillingas's office. My office? Who's in there? Must be those goddamn cultists. Okay, let's go and confront them. And no one else seemed to seem, <laughs> seem to have heard or simply cared that someone broke into into a professor's office. Engraved in, engraved in brass on a plaque resides that uh, beside the door is the name Professor Wilhelmina Tillingas. The door is slightly ajar. Okay, the door has been unlocked. Okay, who's in here? Hmm. Must have escaped through the window. What was that commotion? There's nobody here. Well, there's someone or something on the other side of the door now, on the cor uh, inside the corridor. Someone beat us to it. The room's been searched, and recently. Just look at this mess. Someone has ransacked my office. Look there. Even the safe is broken open. Now they're on the lam. We gotta nab them before they get off campus. Whoever it is must be dangerous. You must protect the students. Okay, but, but before we go do that, let's look around. 
you find a book by the notorious occultist Alastair Crowley entitled A Treatise on Astrology. That name doesn't ring a bell to me. Okay, what do we have here? Notebooks. A series of notes written in Professor Tillinka's dis distinctive hand. They appear to be nothing more than, ob that, than observations on her students, which she apparently liked to pair off like a matchmaker. While amusing, the notes, that, the notes don't appear useful to your investigation. But at, the, but at least we got plus one uh, sanity. So now we are all perfectly sane. Okay, uh, uh, I'm stuck here now, folks. Uh, I'm. What's what's happening here? Why why am I stuck? Oh, you gotta be effing kidding me! I can't leave from this side either. Which which is what is blocking my way here? Is it the, is it the telescope or is it one of is it one of you? First, separate the explained from the unexplained. Uh, God damn it! Can I like I don't know switch characters? You walked behind the table so easily before, but now you can't. Now you can't. Re now you can't walk the same way back. I might have to reload. Looks like looks like I'm have to reload. Luckily, the game. Uh, saves by itself. Uh, load at last checkpoint. When was the last checkpoint? Roland Banks. Yeah, that was the name of the FBI agent slash private investigator, which whenever it was. Okay, we are back here. And uh, let's take, let's check. Check everything again. Let's try this again. Hmm. And now we can't walk there. But I guess that's fine. I mean, we are we are fully insane. Uh, not insane. <laughs> we are fully sane. We are totally sane. So no need to read that thing. After all. Okay. So the safe is open. The safe in Professor Tillinghast's office has been forced open, presumably by the same culprit who ransacked the place. There is nothing left inside the safe. Okay. Anything else here before we move on? Is that her mansion? You see Edward Hopper's painting, House by the Railroad. Its stark vertical and horizontal lines, as well as its striking color palette, seem unsettling in this context. Okay. Judging by their clothes, mm -hmm. these are the same people who were in the professor's house. You don't say. They're the ones who looted her office. Stop them. Um. By the way, I don't. I don't remember if I said this last time, but this cultist's robes look terrible. Who are these interlopers? Deal with them while the others escape. <laughs> it 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 looks like they are wearing potato sacks almost. And our investigator lost some sanity points for some reason. Okay, this requires three action points. All right, so we. Hmm. Who should I? I I I guess I go to this guy because he's closer. Oh wait, no, no, no. Now wait, how did I? Oh no. How, how did I walk again? Oh, there we go. All right. Confirm position here. Yeah. Might as well use this. You let's use all the action points. Maybe we can stun him. Okay, and uh, attack this enemy. Yes. <coughs> All right, and with you, hmm. let's shut. Let's just shoot from here, I suppose. Oh, can we shoot that guy? 
Yes. Critical, holy shit. Right between the eyes. Well, uh, not quite. <laughs> if you shot him between the eyes, he would be freaking dead. Alright. Um, you got more HP than the professor, so you... You walk over there. Protect her. And, uh... Yeah, and turn. Alright, let's see what you can do. We could use the book to sl slow his movement, I, I think it did. Attack this enemy here. Restraint. Mm, conditions. During the course of the game, your investigators will see their status affected by various conditions, some positive, some negative. Whenever an investigator is affected, you will receive immediate feedback indicating this condition. This feed feedback will fade, but the portrait will display a buffed or debuffed icon. You can obtain more detailed information about the condition affecting the investigators or the, en or the enemies by opening the overlay screen. Hmm? I was also... Uh, Zoe was also restrained. Spellbooks allow the investigators to manipulate unfathomable energies. While a spellbook is equipped, the investigator can't use Overwatch, no matter the nature of the spell. Some also may have unknown effects on your group or enemies. Well, that's great. So now we got this little icon here. Alright, um... And we can't use Overwatch because of this book. So let's move move to our fists. Hmm, he didn't he didn't move much. All right, and uh, let's use the knife so we can attack multiple times. So. Attack. Nice. Good job, Joey. Good job, Zoe. Okay, and uh... There, and... Can't do anything else. Yeah, I might as well shoot this guy. <laughs> Didn't die. Okay, well, uh, while we watch, maybe we could, can we punch him to death? <laughs> yes, we can. Nice. <laughs> now what? That scream is coming from down the corridor. Oh no, the students! Must be one of those weird burglars. Let's go! Hmm, oh, alright. Uh, at least he lost some san sanity there. Not, not, sure, not sure if Zoe lost some sanity there, but... Alright. Hope oh, didn't want to... Hmm? Main objectives. Hmm. Okay. Anything in the trash? That scream came from right around here. This was Wilhelmina's classroom. It sounds as though some students have locked themselves in. Who? Who's out there? It's me, Professor Crane. Are you all right in there? We're safe, but some strange people attacked us. We managed to barricade ourselves inside. You stay put until we've dealt with them. Did you see which way they were heading? <laughs> I just noticed. Can you read that? As a thought, chocolate. <laughs> All right. And what does that say, I wonder? Well, <laughs> well, anyway, that's kind of amusing. As a thought, chocolate. I would buy it. 
They ran down the next corridor. Be careful, Professor. They look dangerous. After we handle those burglars, we should come back here. If this was Professor Tillinga's classroom, we might find clues inside. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Okay, what does that say? Uh, can I zoom in? Yes, I can. Uh, baby Hoth. Uh, okay. A poster. A bulletin board filled with flyers for university activities, including an announcement for an um upcoming home game for the Miskatonic, uh, Miskatonic Squids, over which someone has scrawled, Go Pots. I know that this takes place in a Lovecraftian uni universe, but what kind of uni university would use squids as their university's mascot? Or, or any mascot for that matter. It's just weird. Why would, you, why would you use squid as your animal mascot? But anyway. Something sticks out from the between the pages of the new book. You have found a new item. Cigarettes. Okay. Well, we're gonna give this to the investigator, obviously. I wonder what this is for. You mean the cigarettes? Hmm? Come here, you! Oh! Help me! Hmm? Is there... Is, uh, is there a student there somewhere? Oh, there he is. We must protect the students. Yeah, yeah. Protect civilian. Oh, great. Some fights will require that you protect civilians. Make sure that you protect them. Use items or spells or uh, on them as needed. Okay. Help me! Help me, they want me dead. I want... I wonder why. Okay, well, you protect her, Zoe. Confirm that, and then we just slice and dice. Okay, and uh, we... I should reload the gun at some point. Um, let's attack this cultist. And can I reload? Yes. Alright, and... Let's use the... Apparently I have to walk cl uh, closer. Okay, so... Now... Let's use the book to... Curse this cultist. Oh, he got cursed too. Well, that's a, that's that's a, that's actually fine. That doesn't matter. No, this won't stop me. Refocus. Okay, he's not trying to attack Zoe from behind. I think. Where are you going? Help me! Yeah, yeah, I get it. All right, so. I think I'm, I'm gonna use this to try and uh, st stun this guy. Refocus. And make up one position on the... Make up one position on the initiative bar. Uh, not sure what that... What did it do? Ah, uh, shit. Maybe I, I shouldn't have done that. Let's kill that guy. Nice. Can't do much else. Ah, uh, this is Overwatch. Nice. Don't go and hurt the poor student. What did he do to you? Okay, um... Let's just go here and punch this guy's lights out from behind. Can't overwatch. 
No, I'll just end turn. Mythos event. When the Mythos clock is full, a Mythos event is triggered, resulting in a penalty for the group. Also, your group will need to resist the Great Old One's influence or lose a sanity point. Okay, what's happening? Fade insanity. You feel the awful gaze of the Great Old Ones on you. Despair gnaws at your remaining sanity. Increases the chance of failing your next sanity check until the next scenario. Okay, our investigator or FBI guy is getting dangerous, dangerously close to uh, insanity. Okay, so now we are playing as Zoe again. Now I have to walk closer to him. Apparently so. And again. Savage. Zoe is Help being me! a savage. Yes, yes, we get it. Okay, can we... Does it look like we can kill him? No. Nope. Not quite yet. I might as well reload. Okay, and we can just punch him. There we go. Are you all right? Nah, uh, it's just a flesh wound. Thank you. I think I'll be fine. It's mostly shock. This was just a diversion. We need to catch up to the men that were in Professor Tillinga's office. All right. So you stay there. What's here? The student is bruised, but otherwise unhurt. In thanks for your help, he gives you a gift. You have found a new item, medical book. A handbook of modern medical practices, good for brushing up on your skill at healing. Okay, great. Uh, let's give it to the professor. Hmm? There we go. I wonder what this is for. Hmm. You don't know what medical book is for? Well, what's here? Oh shit. Our investigator is getting dangerously, dangerously close to insanity. A newspaper, newspaper article. From the Arkham Cassette. Body vanishes from cemetery by Gerard White. The Arkham Cassette has learned that a body disappeared from the city cemetery early this morning. Police have questioned a man found on the scene, believing him to be a witness and perhaps an employee of the cemetery. More information to come as the story unfolds. You feel the, you feel the same ability of your mind shatter. Why would, why would our sanity uh, get lower? Because, because of some news article. That's a bit dumb if you ask me. What about you? Are you alright? Are you hurt? No, just bruised. Some men in weird costumes knocked me down. Oh hey, it's the same student. Although the character model suggests that and that, that it's a completely different character, but oh well. Which way did they go? They ran right into that classroom. On more, one more ingredient to add to the. I didn't read it in time. Soup. A file cabinet. You have found bandages. Filthy. A plain cloth bandit. Simply sanit. Uh, simple, sanitary, and good for stopping the bleeding. Sanity check for target. Uh, okay. I don't think I want. I, I don't think I want to pick this one up. I mean, it's filthy. No, you won't look after it, because we don't pick it up. It's filthy. Okay. What's happening here? Who are here? you people? There they are! They have the professor's things! Get them back! These fools mustn't stop us. Deal with them. And also, these cultists are rather dumb for not wearing any masks or anything like that to hide their identities or anything. But anyway, so gonna go here. Might as well use this. Maybe we can stun her. 
Wait, I have to go. Oh, uh, let's try again. There. There we go, attack. And they didn't stun her. Alright, so... Let's shoot... This one here. Ah, oh, she got a pistol too, great. Okay. Hmm. Overwatch. Maybe it's a bit too risky to use this, but... But I but I don't see that what else I don't see what else to do with her to be honest. Stay there. Curse him. Ouch. Oh, this time we didn't uh, curse any of our own. This time we didn't curse any anyone of our own. That's great. All right, let's switch to our knife. And uh, attack her. You are such a butcher, Zoe. Thus to all who defy the Lord's will. Okay, and then let's use this. Maybe we can stun him. Or just kill him. That works too. Holy shit! Holy shit, Zoe! What are you? What are you saying? I can't quite read that. Ah, whatever. And then shoot her dead. They won't be knocking down any more students. Now, let's see what they took from Professor Tillinga's office. Robbing the robbers. It would all seem a bit tawdry if it weren't so poetic. <laughs> poetic indeed. Alright, so what do you have? A dead body. The unmoving body of one of the strangely garbed intruders. He won't be terrorizing the students any longer, but perhaps he carried identification or better yet, a clue. An unsuitable action makes the mythos clock go faster. Well, great. Well, search thoroughly, of course. Okay, fine. I guess just looking. Oh, he's now insane. Great. This man's corpse produce, produces no clues. You feel the stability of your mind shatter. Why would the fact that we can't find any clues from someone's body shatter our sanity? I don't get it. Okay, so no, no, now what happens? No! No clues! No clues, I'm so traumatized. This is so dumb. Cigarette addict. What you need is a good smoke to calm your nerves. Where did you put the pack? Oh, there's one already in your hand. Oh, yes, yes, because we gave him one. Low urge to smoke a cigarette. Well, that's fine. You go and smoke a cigarette. That's like the least uh, deadly thing that, that you can do in, in a situation like this. And tutorial, suffering trauma. Once an investigator's sanity reaches zero, a trauma will be inflicted on him or her. Your investigator can be affected by up to three different traumas simultaneously. A fourth trauma will upgrade an existing trauma. If your investigators accumulate too many traumas too quickly, it can change the course of events. These traumas can be purged by leaving the investigator at the office between scenarios. Okay. But he's just a... But he's just a... Uh, cigarette addict. That's not bad. The supernatural is only something science hasn't hasn't yet explained. All right. What about this? Mm, he won't be terrorizing students at students any longer, but perhaps he carried identification or better yet a clue. Uh, I suppose pat down. Oh, now it's searched thoroughly. Okay, fine, fine game. Be like that. A search of the corpse turns up a letter from the head of the uh, Department of Science and Astronomy. It grants Professor Tillinghast uh, exclusive use of the science lab for a time. Reading between the lines, you presume she intended to perform a, 
performing an experiment there. You feel the stability of your mind shatter. Sanity check. Item found. Letter from the director. This letter indicates that Professor Tillingus reserved the science lab for some experiment. All right. And what about this body? Okay, pat down, look or look through. Well, let's just look. Oh, and now it's pat down. Okay, fine. So that's how it's going to be, game. So that's how it's going to be. From the dead man's pocket, you draw out a telegram address to Professor Tillingast. Alphonse Lanouid is the traitor. Stop. Good post threat to your life. Stop. The herd. You feel the same ability of your mind. Shadow sanity, sanity check. Item found. A telegram mentioned in Lanouid. Maybe it doesn't solve the mystery, but now we have a couple more names to go on. Alphonse Lanouid and the herd. I don't recognize those names. Alphonse Lanoui, an unsavory character indeed. These clues might not make sense now, but we might be able to connect them to others later. I think that's all they took. We should return to Wilhelmina's classroom and tell the students the way is clear. All right. That's the case. Let's check the classroom. If it was Professor Tillingus, we're bound to find some clue about what happened to her. All right, let's do that. Uh, do I want to check anything here? Well, might as well do that real quick. Um, nothing interesting here. Hmm, someone's briefcase. An unsuitable action. Oh, yeah, yeah. A satchel in the style of a student's school bag. Hmm, quick look. Oh, mythos effects. Just... Just because we wanted to quickly check some students' uh, briefcase. This is so silly. You feel... No, you hear. No, no, no. What is this? This is wrong. Your head is about to explode. All investigators must must check their sanity. Yeah, uh, okay. Empty. Well, it's not empty either. Just examine. Okay, fine. A satchel in the style of a student's school bag. You found a new item, Spirit Atme, a ceremonial knife that protects the wielder from evil magic. Well, hey, that sounds like an item for Zoe. And you have found some cigarettes. Can I stack these? Yes, I can. Or maybe we should give the ceremonial knife to her, so she, so she, so she also has a weapon. Okay, uh, what? Ah, that's a medical book. Uh, okay. Can I actually... No, I can't use it right now. Uh, let's move it here. Eh, what was that sound? Alright, well, let's go to the students now. Was it this door? Are they gone? Calls the time it a voice of a student. Yes, it's this, this is the one. The door has door has been unlocked. It's all clear, students. We've taken care of those brutes. Thank you, Professor. First we must tend to the weak. Then we can take a look around this classroom. Alright. Alright. Well, you know what? I'm going to actually end this episode here. And in the next episode, let's search this classroom for more clues. And might as well talk to some of the students here and hear if they have anything interesting to say regarding Professor Tillingast and her experiments or, or whatever she was doing. And see where the game takes us next, because I doubt we will be staying at Miskatonic University for long. And we'll leave to continue our investigation somewhere else. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace.